Go to the layer menu in Affinity Photo and select new layer. Then go to the gradient tool. Add a quick gradient, white to black or any other color. Also, if you've got a swatches panel, select one of those. Create a nice colorful gradient like that. What you can then do, channels. So view, studio, so you've got channels, history, layers, navigator and swatches. All super useful. Navigator is quite large because you can see the red, green and blue colors in this. When I'm using the channels and click there, you can only see the red channel or the green, etc. Now I'm going to use this, the mesh warp tool. So click there. Now, if you haven't got that, go to view and customize tools. Please check my other videos for that. Now, as soon as I select that, you can see what happens. Oh, let's just remove that. So it gets that out of the way. You can see you get this bounding box that's the warp. And you can warp it. And now this is just in the red channel. The green and the blue are untouched. So I'm just going to drag down there. And you can see as I do that. And also what you can do, double click. And you can add nodes there. And you can see the result of the color changes there. Again, if you didn't have Navigator, you would just be using this without seeing the effect on all of channels. And you can see the result there. Again, another one. And you can, of course, undo it any time. So if you decide, you know what, I don't like the result you've gone too far maybe you think you know it looks better maybe like that something like that okay always key thing remember to click apply if you don't go to the next channel then it's not going to work properly so click apply now go to the green channel and you can see that's untouched again go to the mesh warp and you can see exactly the same the bounding box and you can modify that and again you can see the result over here all kinds of different designs can be created. You can move it around, which maybe is not what you want. And you can, again, create folds in it. Just drag that like that. And you can create all kinds of different color. And you can always, as I said, undo at any point. Again, go like that. And you can see the result there building up. Again, remember to click apply. Quite often I forget, and then it's ruined. So composite blue. You don't have to touch that if you don't want to, but what you can do, again, mesh warp. So just go down there and now apply that. And again, all the changes, you can distort that again or not. Just leave it and you can see the color effect there. Maybe have that dragged off like that. And you can see the result just in the navigator. Again, click apply. Now to return it to all of the channels, red, green and blue, click there. And you can see the result there. Now what you can do, you can move it around, you can resize it. You can see it's exactly the same as it was right at the start. Well, now what you can do, you can go down to the mesh warp tool and you can distort that if you want. So you can distort that design, squeeze that design, maybe duplicate the layer, those sort of things. Just drag that across there. Just drag that that way and so on and so on. So you can distort that design. And again, always remember to click apply. And of course, you can also go to filters and repeat mesh warp. You can always try again. Sometimes the result is never good. But however, I think that's a good point to stop. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.